Kelly Campbell Brown was 53 when she was found deceased in her residence located in the 1900 block of Evergreen Lane in Superior Township, Washtenaw County. She was shot sometime between October the 5th and 6th, 2018. Today, her family and friends and the officer in charge are here to tell her story and to let the murderer know who it is that they took away from them. On October 6, 2018, 53-year-old Kelly Campbell Brown was found deceased inside of her residence by her own twin daughters. Kelly lived in the Arbor Woods mobile home community, which is located off of Gettys Road in Superior Township, Washtenaw County. The autopsy revealed that Kelly died from a single gunshot wound to the chest. Over the past five years, my team at the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office has extensively investigated the circumstances surrounding Kelly's murder. The investigation had, has involved scores of interviews, dozens of search warrants, and several polygraph examinations. There was no forced entry into Kelly's residence, and there was no signs of a physical struggle. It is my belief that this was not a random act of violence, but that Kelly was murdered by someone she knew who may have been invited into her home. Kelly was likely murdered during the late evening hours of Friday, October 5th, 2018, or in the early morning hours of Saturday, October 6th, 2018. Although I never had the chance to meet Kelly before she was tragically taken from us, I feel like I have met her indirectly through all of the friends and family members I have spoken with throughout the years. It quickly became apparent to me that Kelly was adored by all who knew her, and she was a beacon of light in the community. Despite following up on tips and other investigative leads, no arrests have yet been made for the homicide of Kelly Campbell Brown. Over four years ago, I stood at this podium pleading for help from the public with this investigation. Here I stand again today pleading for help from this community. I strongly believe that somebody knows something that could break this case open. If you have information, please share it so we can bring justice for Kelly and her family. I understand that citizens can be hesitant about sharing information with the police, particularly for a high profile crime such as murder. Some people have fears of retaliation or being labeled a snitch, or maybe they have concerns about sitting on some critical information for so long. However, I believe that this case will be solved when someone provides information about something they heard or saw regarding Kelly's death. I promise you that I will accept any new, any new investigative leads that come my way without passing judgment. I urge anyone with information to reach out to me, the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office, or anonymously through Crime Stoppers. But back in 2018, you know, me and my twin sister found my mother dead in her bed. And the words just can't, can't explain the feeling that that image is stuck in me and my sister's head, that my daughter. It has been a long, painful six years not having her with us. Birthdays, holidays, Mother's Day, Christmas will never be the same for me and my family, especially my daughter. I, it's just been so hard. The PTSD violent nightmares that we constantly experience have been unreal in the worst pain imaginable. They've been violent and horrible and it's just been a traumatic experience for us every single day, every single day. I honestly don't know how anyone can sleep at night knowing they took someone else's life, especially my mom. She was sweet, she was caring. She would give you the last five dollars and I just don't understand how someone can do that to her and sleep at night. My daughter and her grandmother were very close and it saddens my heart every day that she can no longer see her grandma again, no longer call her again. My mom used to pick her up from the school bus sometimes and hang out with her and they would have play dates. That's never gonna happen again. And that traumatic experience for her has been unbearable. She even hates to talk about it because it makes her so sad. <laughs> Luckily, my daughter has been very strong throughout this traumatic life changing experience and it's just not fair. <laughs> 
I want you to imagine if that was your mom or if that was your grandmother. How would you feel? If you know something, please say something. This is just so hard, especially for my, my grandma, her mom, also as well, and anyone else in the family. Just please, if you know something, or someone else knows something, just come forward and say something, please. Uh, the Campbell family have been a part of this congregation for many, many years and have played a significant role in this congregation. We are continuing to keep this family in prayer for it has been a rough few years for this family. And it is also our prayer that if you know anything, that you reach out to the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office or through Crime Stoppers.